DeFi is not just about exchange, it's about savings, it's about lending, it's about tokenization. And I'm very excited about the idea of tokenization. It is getting uh, a lot more uh, media attention, at least with these non-fungible uh, tokens or NFTs, essentially transforming the world of art. Uh, art is uh, a space that is plagued by very powerful middle people where it's really difficult for an artist uh, to make any money. Now you go directly uh, to your uh, to the people that enjoy the art. So it, it's transformational uh, for many uh, industries, uh, I believe. So can I think, one thing I thought was interesting that you said about D5, I may go, just go back to that a little bit, is you say you interact with an algorithm. So in many ways we should probably think of decentralized and peer-to-peer -peer sounds usually actually pretty unorganized and, and all over the place. But essentially, it seems like we're using this blockchains as a common resource. And instead of actually thinking about it as having to deal with multiple different parties, you actually deal with a single one. Is that maybe a way how we should think about this? Yeah, you know, definitely. Um, and so to be clear, uh, it might be that let's say you want asset two, but the exchange might be only dealing with asset three. So they want asset three, they'll send you asset two, but you've got asset one, but there's another decentralized exchange that kind of completes the loop. And this is in the future will be seamless. So you go into your grocery store, uh, the local Loblaws and you want to pay um, and in your wallet, you've got many different ways that you can pay. So your wallet might have Canadian dollars, but it might also have a token that's based on gold, that's collateralized with gold or collateralized with IBM stock. Uh, there's many different possibilities here in terms of the token. And then maybe you wanna pay um, with gold, but the grocery store doesn't want that. But again, seamlessly, uh, you go out to a decentralized exchange. And again, uh, the user doesn't have to do anything. This happens automatically. And the best possible exchange rate is determined for that gold to what the grocery store actually wants. So it, it, it is a fascinating um, technology that I, I mentioned in my book. Uh, the first line is we have come full circle. And what I mean by that is we started market exchange with barter. And what I just described to you uh, is barter. So you actually don't need money in the traditional sense that you've got all of these tokens that have value and you can efficiently um, essentially barter. I never thought this would be possible. When I started out studying economics, you know, this was something of the past that we fixed the barter system by introducing money. Well, decentralized finance is actually fixing the current system by having a much broader definition of what money actually is.